The Democratic Republic of the Congo has been devastated on many occasions since it gained independence from the Belgians back in 1960. The rule of Mobutu was severe, but it held the country together as a single unit until he was ousted from power in 1997. Between 1997 and 2001, under Lauren Kabila, the country began to regain some of its potential and growth. But then civil war broke out between 98 and 2002, with an estimated 3 to 5 million people dying as a direct result of the conflict. These deaths were caused either by fighting or a result of the massive hardship which spread across the eastern side of the country into the Katanga province. More recently, under the rule of Joseph Kabila, the country has begun to stabilise and the recent elections were the first democratic ones held since independence. Starvation and disease, which occurred between 1998 and 2002, was massive. It's only now, four years later, that the country is beginning to get back on its feet and there is hope in the face of the people. The Longo Hospital is situated in North Katanga and was opened back in the 1930s by David Howell, working out in the open under the spreading leaves of the many mango trees. Since that time, various building projects have been completed to help provide facilities for the many patients using the hospital services on a daily basis. The population in Malongo village is between 30 and 40,000, but at times this rises to more than 50,000. However, the hospital is one of the very few within the zone that has been able to maintain a medical service all through the recent troubles. The facilities within the hospital were devastated by both the rebel and the government forces as they fought and died in the area. Some of the stories we are hearing are horrific, but over the past few years we have begun to rebuild and re-equip the hospital back to the standards it enjoyed in the past. Central Africa is home to many infectious diseases including malaria, tuberculosis, AIDS and a significant number of intestinal parasites. Unfortunately, in some cases, the disease is too advanced and there is little which can be done except to offer palliative care. The road system in the Katanga province is in a very poor state of repair. Throughout the whole country it's estimated that there is only 400 kilometres of Tarmacadam Road. Travelling by boat along the Great Congo River is a harrowing experience. Every day up to a thousand patients attend the hospital. In many cases they will have travelled over many hundreds of miles to have their medical condition treated. The range of illnesses attending the hospital on a daily basis is staggering. Many of these people are at an advanced stage in their illness, but others die before they reach the hospital. Advanced tumours, which may have been possible to treat had they attended earlier, are regularly seen along with a multitude of other very serious conditions. Barry and Joy Stevenson have been working in the Democratic Republic of the Congo for many years. During 2007, they've been able to construct and open the Majondo Bible School. They've also been involved in the construction of a new maternity ward in Malongo Mission Hospital. The new laboratory and war supply has been a marvellous help to the people attending every day. Through the generosity of many groups in New Zealand, it's been possible to supply teachers with textbooks for 53 primary schools. Auto funding of 15 church agricultural projects has also commenced and there is now financial assistance to 11 church construction projects throughout the province. 17 medical student bursaries have also been formed and five women's schools have been helped with auto funding and resource development projects. The opportunities for Christian work in the Democratic Republic of the Congo are unlimited at present. However, we live in an uncertain world and the present peace and tranquility within the Katanga province could change at any time. It is essential that we use the opportunities and freedom which are there at present to establish good, solid, Bible-based churches. However, Congo's challenges need solutions found by our Congolese partners. 
Our role is one of providing resources, training, friendship and encouragement in order to make these solutions possible. Our plan is to cultivate partnership between donors and Indigenous workers, to work with the African leadership to plan and improve projects through our churches, our schools, our medical centres and through leadership development. Additional encouragement to the existing work of Indigenous partners is being realised through sponsorship programmes. These include monthly assistance to key pastors and evangelists, bursaries for medical students and Bible school students also. Majandra Theological School is in its second year since the rebuilding of the school destroyed during the war. Support of staff and provision of resources have been important for the re-establishing of this work. Fields have been cultivated by the students in order to produce funding for the ongoing work of the Bible School. Africa's problems of corruption, war, bad government, these need to be resolved by Africans. Our opportunity is to assist African men and women who, with God's help, wish to make a difference. They can make a difference with life-saving care, they can raise the standard of justice in their country, and they can present the gospel message to those in great need.